Hey everybody, my name is Nick Shalom, the former Air Force and Space Force Chief Software Officer and the founder of Assage. Today we're going to do a deep dive in a great new feature we are releasing this week to show how you can, without even talking to us, directly manage your secrets and your credentials to your databases and then use our plugins to connect your data and be able to analyze and get real-time access to a full analysis capability to leverage generative AI to access your data and get to real tangible outcomes. So let's get started. All right, so we have a great new feature now to manage secrets so you can actually insert your uh, secrets into Assage to be able to uh, provide the credentials to your databases and systems and APIs so that Assage can then use that to connect to those systems and be able to tap into real-time data and watch our video on real-time data if you've not seen it. All right, so we have a whole bunch of new comments now to help you manage your secrets, add secrets, update secrets, and list secrets. So here you can uh, use the get the secrets command to see all your secrets. Uh, in this example, we're going to show you how to connect to a Postgres database and be able to tap into real-time data That's a game changer uh, in real time without even talking to us. You'll be able to customize the plugin and get real-time access to your data. So the first thing I got to do is create uh, a new secrets. It's, it's as simple as doing slash add uh, secret and I'm going to give it a name, Sage uh, test for example, and then we have a very specific syntax that you have to follow. Uh, to be able to uh, uh, provide the connector information uh, to your database. The first uh, piece is to copy and paste the uh, Postgres connection uh, string, which has the username, the password, and the domain. And of course, make it a read-only account and which uh, uh, database and make sure it's uh, using uh, TLS for encryption. And the second uh, parameter here is the version of your Postgres uh, system. And then the, the third uh, parameter here is the list of tables that you want the bot to be able to access. It's not going to be able to tap any other database, any other table. Uh, so you can actually tell it uh, the limited list that the bot is able to use for this uh, plugin uh, to grab information from. The last uh, but not least uh, piece of information you can provide is just some text information about the fields. The bot is usually able to comprehend the names and the fields and which table to use and when for your queries. But sometimes it needs a little bit of help so you can tell it to use which, which table, which field for different kind of data, particularly if the fields were not named very well and it's not very clear. So it gives you the ability to add a little bit of context uh, so that the bot is going to be able to write the SQL query by itself. So I'm not going to uh, insert this one. I have the real one already in the system. Of course, this is fake uh, password and username. I've done it before this video. So we have already created the secret and now it's inside of Assage to be able to be used by our plugin. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here we have this new Assage uh, Postgres connector here. Uh, so if we click here, I can uh, go to select the secret that will let me connect to my database. And so now I can ask any question about my data, regardless to what it is, it's able to do very complex SQL queries. And if the bot is not able to do the query and there is a SQL error, we're gonna give it the error, it's gonna self-reflect and fix its own mistake. It's pretty amazing. And you're gonna see here the behind the scene, the step-by-step -step process. We're not usually showing this to the user, but I wanted to show you the behind the scene of what happens and how this works. So let's ask a question. Show me uh, my top five uh, users consuming the most tokens in September uh, 2023 with their uh, first name and country, to keep it simple. So now I can run this and as you can see, it's already starting the process and I'm going to walk you through all the different steps. So within a second, I got the full answer already, but let's go back. So first it's getting the secret from the secret manager is connecting to the database, getting the table structure to be able to understand the fields and the information. And then it's able to convert my prompt into uh, a SQL query. As you can see, he wrote the SQL query by itself, no human intervention, no guidance. And it's able to write this uh, query correctly. Uh, gave me the uh, response uh, raw uh, so I can validate 
that the query uh, worked and then is giving uh, the opportunity to convert it to plain English to make it easier to read uh, for the end user. That's what really the user would end up seeing here uh, is the actual table with the list here and it gave me the first name and the country like I asked so it's uh, doing a perfect job. So as you can see I can ask any questions I could ask any kind of uh, information I could say um, show me uh, how many users and of, of course this is fake data but we just want to show you uh, how this works show me how many users um, have signed up in uh, let's say October uh, 2023 and let's run that so it gave me uh, the right count and now it's giving me uh, 1322 uh, users signed up all right so another example here we could do is show me how show me how many paid users have used uh, the models containing uh, GPT-4 and boom 390 users are using GPT-4 now I could even do something like uh, uh, show me the most used models and so you got the query got the result and now it's gonna give me a neat table so I can see the most used uh, models, GPT-3.5, GPT-4, and so on, Lama, so we can see who is using what and when. So again, imagine you have your data, it's in the database, you're often stuck there, you need to go talk to developers and write dashboards and to be able to do something with that data, extract it, be able to understand what's going on. Now you have it at your fin fingertip. You can go on that Sage, as long as you have read-only credentials to the database, you can add it to your secrets, you can then use the plugin to connect to the database and be able to ask any question to your data and be able to then use it, train it, analyze it, put it into plugins, agents to do step-by-step -step decision, if this, do that, else, do this, and pretty much automate an entire task. So again, I wanted to show you this game-changing feature which lets you effectively do all this without even talking to us and have a seamless access as part of your paid package. You can do this today without even talking to us and access your data and be able to do proper deep dive in your analytics, in your big data, uh, structured, unstructured, doesn't matter, and be able to then come to tangible outcomes. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, join us on Discord or simply send us an email at sales at assage.ai. See you soon.